God is our refuge and strength, our very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea. Hello, friends. I'm Paul Hahn, coordinator of Mission in North America. These words come to us from our Lord through Psalm 46. The psalmist is describing that God is our refuge and strength, even if all that we think is stable and solid and grounded is crumbling and falling, as it were, into the heart of the sea. All the solid ground is falling into the waters. Um, I've not been with you for several weeks on these little Monday morning videos. That's been because uh, I and my wife, Fran, have had COVID. Uh, we were hit with the disease about four weeks ago, and we were hit pretty hard. And we had a variety that took us through a full two-week cycle, loss of smell, loss of taste, blurred vision, pain behind the eyes, headaches, body aches, fevers, um, congestion in the lungs, dry cough, you name the symptom, even body rashes. Um, we had it between the two of us. Um, the first night for me that I had it was a Tuesday night, and um, I didn't sleep at all that night. I slept a grand total of about 15 minutes that evening, and I pondered um, what might be happening to me. I had read all the articles you've read, seen all the reports you've seen, watched all the news cycles you've observed, and I wondered how bad would my case be? Um, how sick would I actually get? Would I end up with major lung issues and in a hospital and maybe headed toward intubation? Where was this all going? There was a strong sense as I could not sleep at all that night that everything that I knew and was confident in around me that was solid was falling into the heart of the sea. If you've had COVID, you know this. If you have loved ones or friends who have had it, you would know this, that there's this strong component inside this disease of despair, of depression, of attacking you, not just physically, but emotionally, psychologically, even spiritually as part of the reality of a fallen world touching us in every way as whole being people. Um, in that space, God came to me afresh and brought these words to mind of this psalm that though everything is crumbling and falling into the heart of the sea, God still is our refuge and strength. The psalmist goes on to describe changing images that there is a river which flows that makes glad the city of God the people of God in our New Testament world, we obviously know on the back end of Christ's death and resurrection for us, his ascension, reigning over all things for us. He and the Father have poured out the Spirit into our lives, and the Spirit is that river that makes us glad, that allows us to have hope and watering and fruitfulness, even in spaces where the mountains are falling into the heart of the sea, where everything is crumbling because God is our refuge and strength and we can have confidence in him and have the Spirit's life flourishing in us, maybe especially, not just even, but especially in those kind of spaces of deep brokenness and hopelessness. Um, and so I just encourage you that God has moved afresh in our lives. He has kindly brought us through that COVID experience. He has sustained us. He has renewed us. We're both feeling well physically. Many of you have reached out to us. We thank you for that, for your prayers and for your encouragements. But I emerge from this newly awakened to the reality that whether I'm in sickness or in health, whether I have plenty or I'm in want, uh, my hope is that this river of God's presence and goodness by his spirit is moving and working in my life, that God is my refuge and my strength. Church, may we come back to that so that we have something deep and lasting and full to share with the world around us that experiences upheaval physically, emotionally, socially, politically, spiritually. 
uh, and may we have this gospel to share of God being our refuge and our strength, of being a river passing through us that makes glad the city and the people of God. Please check out our M&A webinars uh, on our various platforms. You can check out things on our website. We'll be with you on Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern with another Strengthening the Church webinar. Come and be with us. We'd love to have you. God bless you. May the Lord be your refuge and strength.